So hi folks, uh, today I'm going to present you about a project on flight price prediction. It is based on Python technology and the field is of data science. So let's first of all talk about the data sets. Uh, uh, basically we have used a training data sets of around 10,000 samples which contains features such as the name of the airline, the date of the journey, source and destination, which route the flight is going to take, the deposit time, deposit time, arrival time, duration, total stops in the whole flight, and some additional information if there are any on the, at last the price of the air ticket. So we are basically going to predict each price column from on the basis of all the all of these columns. Similarly, this was the I this was the training data. Uh, we also have the test data which contains around 3000 to 4000 samples having the same features in it. Uh, so let's jump toward the implementation part. Uh, let's just make out the let me on my Jupyter notebook. So uh, to make I have made uh, random first regression model from on the basis of the data which we have given. There is lots of pre-processing used in comparing this data set and this where the library is used in toward the IPNB file. Uh, so first of all we have to convert all these object values to integer value or to predict our price. Uh, uh, one odd encoding, encoding is used for airline source and destinations but for date, or date, uh, date of journey we have to split the date and I have split date and month in different scholar and then deleted the date of journey. Let's get jump towards that. Uh, as you can see, uh, first of all, date of journey is converted uh, through to day and month from these two lines. So the new columns are added at the end of the data set and eventually we will delete the data date of journey from here. Similarly, for uh, duration, uh, we have taken out, uh, sorry, for deposit time and arrival time, we have taken out hours and minutes in two different columns and eventually we deleted uh, duration from the data, from the pandas data frame from at the beginning. Now after converting this, uh, we have to convert uh, uh, duration that is 2 hours 50 minutes, 7 hours 25 minutes into a uh, integer value for that this code is used. Uh, it will split, basically it will split from the default space. If there is a split then it will know that the complete information is given but if there is not no split then there would be only values in hours or minute accordingly we will take an out we will take out the values from it and store into a two different two different column that is duration hours and duration minute at the end of the data set and eventually again we will delete it from the front end and where was that uh, so it is basically deleted using this drop tool so it is not shown in this head and now as i mentioned before i had used uh, one hot encoding for encoding l lines uh, so and there were uh, i think it's eight or nine different kind of airlines use so even individual rows of airlines are added at the end of the data set at the end of the data frame, similarly for destination and source also uh, one order encoding is used and at last we got a data set of about 30 different columns and 1, 000, 10, more than 10,000 features. So here is all our values in integer format. So at last we have to also uh, use this whole processing steps for uh, testing data. So here I have just uh, uh, got that test file and uh, use same code from above uh, above cells and integrated in, in only one 
one tuple and th that's what we got as a output that is 2600 features and 28 rows sorry columns uh, now uh, now for learning purpose we would use sklearn and here there is a split of 2% in the train and train test split and at last regression model random forest model is used for the prediction from where we have got it these are various evaluation matrices that mean absolute error um, mean square error and means and random mean square error is used here and we are also saw so, so r2 score which where the uh, random forest regressor was surpassing others algorithm so i had choose to continue with that and at last pickle file pickle uh, library is used for saving this product in a file so this was all about the uh, machine learning part now we will jump towards its deployment and sorry de not deployment just integrating with the backend services so for that i have used flask DF framework uh, it's it's loading right now uh, this was the simple html uh, code where i have just uploaded our whole form and just give an a background of an aeroplane uh, uh, every values are taken from the form and uh, here we have manually <coughs> done encoding there is one odd encoding in the app.pi file from there we have after getting all, all values just we have passed in our model that was uh, used as from uh, loaded from the pickle file and the predetect output was displayed at, in the h2 i think yeah it's h3 tag in the websites let's just run it run it and look it around the output what is it giving uh, good output or is it just bluffing it around so as you can see let's just give a random date is let's take today's date so, suppose i want let's take tomorrow's date i want to travel on 9th of october from let's say 2 15 is my departure time and let's say uh, 8 25 is my arrival time Let's say I uh, traveled from Calcutta to uh, Delhi and the flight was about let's take non-stop and uh, I chose Go Air as my airline services and let's just see if it predicting a good yeah that is pretty nice we have got a price of 6356 from the model so it's in a working state if you want to get this uh, file you can just check my repo uh, it's in my repository it's flight prediction flight price prediction so thank you this was the all thing about flight price prediction have a nice day